everybody, this is Praxis. We're here on site. We still have no idea where the concrete people are. They've been, they, they're supposed to have been here the past several days. They're just nowhere. My contractor who has been handling all this site work, like, you know, the road and everything, they're my contact with them. They said that they actually chased them down to their, where they were working yesterday. I don't know what that means because they were supposed to be working here. Uh, I still have no idea. I mean, we're like 72 hours after they were supposed to have like begun this thing and nobody knows where they are. So that's where that is. But this morning I was able to get something done. Uh, the electrician came and the electrician's gonna help me with some of the the wiring stuff on the house. I mean, I can, I can pull my own wires. I can, you know, wire up electrical outlets and switches and everything. I'm a little bit unsure when it gets to things like the breaker box seems a little dangerous. I like to have an electrician kind of come in for that stuff. And they're also going to help me uh, get some temporary power here onto the site. And they presented me with a really great idea that I was not aware was an option. And that is that I can have the, uh, the meter be on a power pole that gets dropped from the street. We're thinking that uh, at this point we want to bring in power from the street to right here. You see an X on the ground right here. And the idea is we're going to run power from right here. That'll give us temporary power. It'll also give us a utility pole so that uh, I can get, you know, uh, internet and stuff like that. It's going to go from, uh, from here underground up this little rise to where the, the house is over here. And what's really great is that he was saying one of the reasons that I was a little ambivalent about the idea of having power from the street is these smart meters. Uh, smart meters are things that they send out like a you know, radio signal and they can read the meter without having to actually look at it. It's a great technology, but like all things like cell phones and microwave ovens and all these kind of things, they're sending out uh, you know, this radiation all the time, like um, you know, what's under power lines. And you know, I, I, I'm not like totally terrified of that. I mean, we all live in, in those kind of bubbles during a lot of our lives. You know, whenever I'm on my computer, or you're in front of your computer, you're getting a lot of electromagnetic radiation. And, you know, I've accepted that as being part of my life, but I don't necessarily want that to be my, my body's 24-7 sort of environment. When uh, I go to sleep at night, I like to be able to shut a lot of that stuff in the house off. I shut the internet Wi-Fi bubble off. Uh, you know, I, I shut other things off in the house that I know to create that bubble so that at least at night my body can live and exist in an environment without that electromagnetic field everywhere. And I know they're still, they're coming in from, you know, space and all that kind of like the satellites and all that. But th th those are very minor as compared to things like smart meters. And that was one of the things I did not like about the idea of having a, um, an electrical hookup to the street was that it would require having a smart meter on the house. Until this morning, I found out I can actually put the meter on the pole here, do the disconnect right here at the pole, and then it goes underground 160 feet over to the house. There'll be nothing uh, in terms of uh, the strength of the electromagnetic signal from this box if we do it that way. So I'm super excited about that idea. It was one that I was not familiar with, and I just uh, was exposed to it by asking a lot of questions and sharing my goals with this uh, professional that knows what they're doing. So I'm really psyched about that. That's a great uh, step forward. I, I like the idea of having access to power if I wanted it. And, uh, you know, if I don't have to have that trade-off, I think that's pretty cool. And I can just keep it as an option if I want to connect up to the power on the street. And I can, you know, just kind of keep balancing those numbers as I go forward. So that's it. I still have absolutely no idea when this foundation is supposed to start. It was supposed to be here five days ago. Then it was supposed to be here two days ago. And it's just starting to snow now. A little, I don't know if you can, if in the resolution of the camera you can see, but there are little tiny snowflakes beginning to fall. So I have no idea, but it, the weather, I mean, it's snowing right now, but the weather's warm. It's like 60s in the days here, 40s at night. It's totally fine for it. I don't know. Maybe later today or tomorrow or the day after that. I don't know. But very soon we're supposed to have our concrete person pouring our foundation footings. That's it. Thanks for watching.